All right, I'm really excited about today's episode. I'm famished and I got this package in the mail. This is my first Gold Belly experience. Where's this Gold Belly website been my entire life? How long has this thing been around for? For those of you that don't know, Gold Belly would be like DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats on steroids. It's national and it has the most iconic restaurants and their most famous dishes online and they're shipped to your house. So this thing is a game changer. No longer do I have to travel to go get some of the best food in the world. I can have it delivered right to my door. This is the inaugural episode and I have one of the most famous sandwiches in the world right here. I'm gonna unbox it. Let's get right to it. This is from Langer's Deli. It's in LA and I'm gonna give you some fun facts on Langer's in a second. But before that, I really wanna enjoy this first unboxing experience as well because I've never opened up a gold belly package before. I have no idea what this is going to entail. And I believe from my research that these come delivered in a couple different ways. Sometimes they come in, uh, in the form of a kit where you have to prepare the dish yourself to give you all the ingredients. And then sometimes I believe they actually arrive pre-made. I believe this one is a kit. All right, so I just pop off the styrofoam. Oh, and it's in this nice little cooler. Check out this. Oh, it's nice and cold. This has been sitting outside all day in Southern California heat, and it's nice and cold. Look at this little portable cooler. It's nice. I love this presentation. Let's check this out. So they give you a card right there. 704 South Alvarado Street. That's really cool. I like that marketing. And let's see what's in here. All right, so I got a letter with my name on it. Let's see what this says. This is a receipt and the instructions. You can make it in a microwave, a vegetable steamer, or a standard oven. I'm gonna go through this later. I'll, I'll decide which way I'm going to cook these. Uh, I'm not going to cook them in front of you, but I'm gonna show you the finalized product, obviously. Ooh, look at this. So. What we have here are four slices of rye bread. This smells so good. So we have four slices of rye bread. This meal was a sandwich kit for two to four. It says two to four, depending on your appetite. And it was shipped to my door. It was around, I believe, $170. So definitely an expensive expenditure, but hey. All right, so. This, I believe, is the Russian dressing. Look at this, Russian dressing. And then here would be the coleslaw. I'm such a fan of coleslaw in my sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches, burgers, I love coleslaw. Thumbs up for coleslaw. I'm really excited about this. All right, and then I have some of this gel uh, freezer foam. These are really cool, you can save these for later, put them in your freezer and use these for a beach day or something like that. I like that. And then here is the staple food. The pastrami, look at that. Vacuum sealed and everything. And then some pickles. All right, huge pickles. All right, so that's it. These are the five ingredients. You got your pickles, you got your coleslaw, you have your Russian dressing, you have your rye bread, and then you have your pastrami. All right, so I'm gonna go downstairs and make this sandwich. I'm probably just gonna pop it in the microwave for convenience purposes. I wanna get back up here and eat. I'm excited to show you guys. I'm also very excited to eat. I'm, I'm famished, like I said. So this is gonna be awesome. I am just enthralled by this process. I, it's just a game changer. I no longer have to travel to New York to get cheesecake. I no, have to, I no longer have to travel to Chicago to get pizza. I no longer have to travel to Philadelphia to get a sandwich. This is gonna be so cool. I'm really excited to put this on my channel. It's gonna give me something to do while I'm not traveling. All right, without any further ado, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna cook this up. I'll be back here in a second. All right, I've created a monster. Literally, this thing is falling apart. Look at the size of this thing. I'm not sure at the size and scale this thing is translating through the camera lens, but it is huge. So I put half of the contents in this one half and then the other half among those two halves over there that are on the food cam. Got a food cam going on the channel, by the way. All right, so uh, I just want to mention before I dig into this thing that there was Elemental Swiss hanging out at the bottom of the cooler. I did not see it initially. There were eight slices. I put about four on this one half right here. You can see it topped with 
cheese right there. And I put the other slices split among those two halves over there. Uh, Langer was built in 1947. They are famous for this exact dish, the number 19. It made them world famous. It's known as the Marilyn Monroe of sandwiches, which is an interesting comparison. Marilyn Monroe of sandwiches right here. Uh, since inception, they have been said to sell over 10 million pounds of pastrami. And it's one of the most famous delis in the world. Uh, in 2019, it was added to Michelin's gourmand uh, restaurant list. So a pretty big deal. All right, enough talk. Let's dig into this thing. Before it just disintegrates, it's so succulent. Um, there's a lot going on here. All right, so the first thing that comes to mind is that this pastrami is awesome. I had some downstairs that kind of fell off the sheet and uh, when I was making a sandwich and I tasted it, it's so good. It's rich, um, it's savory, it is has the perfect flavor, it is filling, but man, it is what pastrami should be. I can see why it's one of the best in the world. Um, the coleslaw is great. I wish they would have added a bit more coleslaw in there as a half pint. I wish they would have done a full pint because I ended up using the majority of it for this one half. I kind of had to skimp a little bit on those other two, so that would have been nice. Let's go in for another bite. Look at that. You know that indescribable deli taste? You know when you make sandwiches at home and you just can't seem to recreate that deli flavor and you can't touch on it you kind of have no idea what it is it's it's ineffable you, you know it's just there's something about that deli sandwich this has that and i made it at home it's it's awesome <laughs> so it took about 20 minutes to make you could probably make it in 10 if you wanted to microwave it uh, again i think this is around like 150 dollars Certainly on the high end, but it's more of an experience. You're not going to get this every single day. You're going to get this a few times a year, uh, especially if you have an affinity for deli sandwiches and then especially an affinity for pastrami. I think they did have a corned beef option as well, as well as a Reuben. So if you're looking for a couple other sandwiches, they didn't have those on there. But I went with their iconic dish, the number 19, and it is, it is so good. I'll go ahead and put all the links in the description below. A link to Goldbelly's website. It was really easy to sign up. I signed up within two minutes. And there's just a litany of stuff from some of the greatest restaurants in the world. In the world. I saw stuff from Japan, stuff from Australia, and then especially stuff in the United States. It typically ships within one to two days. Um, I ordered this two days ago. And it landed here today. And again, it, the ice was still frozen. The food is really fresh. I don't have any complaints. Um, let me try one of these lesser dense sandwiches just to see what that feels like. So here's what that looks like. Probably a more manageable portion. And this has been underneath that oven for a while, so this is really crisp, really nice. I like the rigidity on this bread because it's able to withstand um, the soggy juices. This is nice right here. I can't believe I'm going to say this. I tried to make the super sandwich for YouTube, right? Make it look huge and gargantuan, which it is. I like the proportions on this smaller one better. Maybe you could make four halves, two full sandwiches, four halves. And I think that might be the better way to do it. What happens when you reduce the portion size of the meat is that accentuates the rye on this. And the rye bread is so good. It's, it's delectable. Man, I'm going for another bite. This is awesome. Yeah, so bigger isn't always better. I surprised myself. Well, if you want to have a monster, you can go with this. But if you're looking for really the best flavor profile and have proportionality and amazing flavor, you want to go with this. Yep, this is definitely the way to go. So what I did was put half 
on this one sandwich half and then the remaining half on these two halves. And if I had to do it over again, I would put it equally across the two full sandwiches. So if you're gonna order it, if you're gonna order the one between two and four, definitely make four sandwiches, don't make two. Um, I wish they gave me a little bit more coleslaw. Huge fan of coleslaw on the channel. Thumbs up for coleslaw. And the Russian dressing is really good. Uh, it's a little dwarfed by just the intense flavor of the pastrami and of the coleslaw and the rye. Uh, the, again, the dressing, when I just took a, um, a taste of it when it was in the pint, it was, it was delicious, but I really don't taste it much in here. I wish I tasted it a little bit more. So that is it for my inaugural Gold Belly unboxing and testing. I'm really excited that I don't have to travel to all these restaurants. I'll probably travel to some. In fact, I'll probably order some here and then travel to them while I'm on the road and do a little compare and contrast. But um, if you can't get out and you really have an affinity for food and you want to taste some of the most iconic meals, I highly recommend Gold Belly. All right, that's it, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.